Meghan Markle's close friend Tyler Perry's new Netflix film has been branded the worst movie ever as fans slam the boring film. Director Tyler Perry opened his home to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex when they left the royal family. Meghan Markle's close friend Tyler Perry has been blasted by film fans following his Netflix debut. The actor and producer directed Netflix's Me Culpa with the romantic thriller landing on the streaming platform last week. Perry opened his home to Markle and Prince Harry when the couple first moved to America in 2020, following their exit from the royal family and appearance in their Netflix series. The couple, along with their son Archie, lived in the 54-year-old's home in Beverly Hills for a few months before they moved to a home in Montecito. Perry found fame as an actor before focusing on directing and producing, and just days after Mayor Culpa landed on Netflix, he faced criticism with several viewers over the boring plot. Starring Kelly Rowland, the film film follows her character, a criminal defence attorney who agrees to defend a man who's been accused of murdering his girlfriend. However, X has been flooded with complaints and backlash to the new flick ever since it became available to watch in March. One even stated, Mia Culpa has got to be the worst movie ever made. Someone else said, OK, that was spectacularly bad, even for Tyler Perry. He's so desperate for a plot twist. Some did disagree, however, and one said, maybe I like trash TV, but Mea Culpa isn't that bad. A lister Perry offered his support to the Sussexes after their sensational exit from the Royals. Speaking on NBC's Today back in 2022, he said that it was a very difficult time for the couple, but he did want the world to know how much they love each other. A Netflix synopsis describes Perry's 18-rated film as a criminal defence attorney who must choose between her family, duty and her own dangerous desires as she takes on the case of an artist accused of murder. A few of Perry's other directing credits include The Single Mums Club, A Fall From Grace and Nobody's Fool. Several of his films have come under fire from critics with several claiming his work often uses offensive stereotypes.